In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective way to slow down the bunch tight end in Madden 22. This is going to help you stop the play PA boot over. One of the better plays in Madden 22, if not just the flat out best play. It's definitely got some of the best bomb concepts in the game. And we're going to show you how to shut that down in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said, we are talking in this video about the nickel 335 odd and i actually have released a full nickel 335 odd defensive guide i released that defensive guide one of the first weeks of the game was out and to be honest with you it has gotten better with time we've updated it for you we've added new things and i'll just tell you right now you could create this is the best pressure you can create in madden 22 it's the most consistent two-man pressures that i've ever seen you get two-man pressures five-man pressures looping pressures this defense is absolutely insane if you trust the pressure concept so if you want to have a heavy blitzing based defense uh, where you can still go into the nickel 335 wide meta and you can also still run some other stuff as well this defense in my personal opinion is the best way to go now uh, if you want to get the defensive guide there's a link in the description all you got to do is click that link it'll take you right over to the website and we'll get it to you for just 15 bucks so super affordable early in the year defensive ebook and we literally go through and walk you through how to shut down things like bunch tight end how to shut shut down things like gun bunch or gun trips or spread or whatever we may be facing so that being said, we're going to jump into today's video and really the concept, um, honestly, we can do this out of a lot of different defenses, but I'm going to show this out of a couple of my favorites. So I'm going to show this out of Sam Mike 3 and Sam Mike 1, and then I'm also going to show this out of the cover 2 um, because I really like the cover 2 this year as far as how it works, uh, especially with a very specific adjustment that we can make in the 3 to 5 odd, but I'm not going to talk too much about that because we cover that in the defensive guide. But anyways, we're just here to show you the, how to stop the rollout stuff. So stay Mike three press will be our base defense and all we're going to do is we're just going to spread our defense and then we're going to baseline and press that's it we're going to spread our defense and then we're going to baseline and press and then the last little step of this is we're going to crash our defensive line down and we're going to QB contain off that outside. And what that's going to do is it's going to create this alignment. Now, um, what you're going to notice here is whenever I go to do this, I'm going to try to run that PA boot over. And what you should see is I can't get outside. There's no way for me to get outside. If I get outside, he instant sheds, and I'm always going to get sacked. So I have to stay in the pocket um, to be able to run this play. The beauty of this, though, is, again, if you think about it, they are going to have to block so many people to uh, get this thing to actually work for them. And I will be I will tell you that if you move this guy out, let's just say we move him out just a little bit, like right to there, um, and he'll come back in, of course, but I just want to show you this real quick. So um, now when we move him, if we just move him a little bit, you see they can't double team him. So when you roll out, now it's going to be even worse. You're going to see you're going to get that instant shed animation every single time. They're going to chuck it up, do something crazy, and you've got a really good shot at being able to take things away. Now, from an adjustment perspective, another thing that I like to do from this is I'll just run man coverage, and the primary reason I'm just going to run man coverage um, is because of the fact that, let's say for example, so I'm going to show blitz man coverage out of this, put this guy right here. Now what we're going to get in, this, in a situation where this cornerback is going to be manned up on the tight end. So what that's going to do for us um, is it's just going to give us very sound coverage. So I personally like to uh, user this safety right here in this look. And I find this to be a very good coverage. And all we're going to do is shade inside and over top. And you'll see it'll move those guys into proper alignment. And all we're going to do basically is watch this drag and then go back to the crosser. But they can't go anywhere. They can't release the delay fade. They're going to have to sit in the pocket and get shedded to absolute death. Okay? So that's my first way that I like to stop this. The second way that I like to stop this is from the play uh, Tampa 2. And what we're going to do is we are going to actually, um, again, basically do the same thing. But we're, but we're only going to send three. Okay, so we're only going to send three. So we're going to get a little bit better coverage on this. Um, we're going to we're going to take this left side defensive end, and you can actually man him up on the tight end. And then we're going to pass commit, and then we're just going to use this guy right here in case they run the ball. That's all we're going to do. Um, that's all we need to do. And what you'll see here is, again, if he rolls out, there's an instant shed every single time. And we're going to get that sack pretty much every single time. So that's why I like this defense so much um, because we can do things like that. Now, another way that you could run this defense, this Tampa 2, um, is all you're going to do is you're going to crash. You're going to spread your line, spread your linebackers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to crash your defensive line down. So you see here, I'm going to crash my defensive line down. And then I'm going to blitz that slot corner. 
And I'm not going to QB contain on this because I just want you to see the play. But this is one of the better blitzes in the game. So again, what we're going to do here, and you'll see they will pick me up, but the pocket will collapse super quick. The pocket will certainly collapse super quick. Now let's say, for example, they put the running back out on a route. Okay? So let's say, for example, they put the running back out on a route. You're going to see that we're going to get pressure. And this is something that a lot of people like to do right now is they'll put that running back on in route. So, for example, I could literally just play, uh, you know, a hard flat on that back side. And then I'm going to sit kind of like right in here with my user. And I say, oh, no, the running back's out on the route. I'm going to jump into coverage here and look at how fast we get pressure at the quarterback. So this is an easy little five-man pressure that you can utilize to slow this, slow this offense down. Another little tactic that you could do is just flip your play. So, for example, I'm going to be in Tampa 2, and I'm just going to flip my play. And what you're going to see here, I don't know why my guy didn't move. I'm going to move him for him. But he's going to be over here on this side now. So, you see, he's over there, and he should normally move. But you could just flip your play like this. And then what you're going to see is now you're going to hover right in here. And now what we're going to get, oftentimes, is we're going to get complete pressure. All I'm going to do is man up the middle linebacker onto the running back. And you should see here against play action blocking, we've got a really good chance at getting pressure. We weren't able to come in there. But if they don't block their running back, we're going to come in completely free. And if they don't block him in that play action blocking animation. So, for example, let's just say, uh, for sake of example here, that they just do um, what I was telling you, where they just move him. And I'll show it to you like this. Like, where they just like block him on the right or they just run him on a route to the right. Well, what you're going to see now is this pressure should scream off this left eye. As you can see right there, we're getting crazy good pressure at the quarterback just with that auto flip uh, little, little pocket presence thing. So we can basically create a lot of different things that are going to be very effective against our opponent. Another one of my favorite blitzes is LB Cross 3 Show 2. The reason why I like this so much is because we can send heavy pressure again. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my linebackers, spread my defensive line, and then I like to actually reset my linebackers. And what you'll notice is it creates this alignment, which I think is one of the best alignments in the entire game. And we're just going to stand right here. And this is insanely effective uh, against this play. Insanely effective. You're going to see there again, you've got the instant sheds and you're going to be able to stop any run that they're going to be able to do. So this is really my favorite kind of little mini scheme here or my favorite formation um, specifically against this. And the main reason why I like it so much is because, like I said, if they try to double team you on the outside, it's never going to work. Even though they might be able to actually tell their guy to double team you, it's never going to work. So you can contain with confidence. And then you're going to see here, oftentimes you're going to get instant pressure if – and if they try to roll out, you're definitely going to be able to contain that. So thanks for watching the video. Um, if you want to get the full Nickel 335 Odd defensive ebook, I think it has got the best pressure in Madden. You can get the full defensive guide by clicking the link in the description. I put a link down there. Just go down there, click that link. It'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away. The guide will just be 5 bucks, so super affordable.